Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I was at an event last week at Be So In, and I had some questions about my design album. Now, we've gone over this album in previous lessons, back, I guess, when it was fairly new, so I thought we'd do a refresher course on my design album. Now my design album is a cataloging program. Let's go ahead and close it and we're going to open it because I want you to look at the icon. This is my design album so let's open it up. Now what this is is this is an organizer. You can organize your embroidery designs, you can organize your artwork, you can organize PDF files, documents, it's an organizer. So let's look at how we use it usually in our world. Now if you look at it right now everything is blank because nothing is selected on the left hand side. Now when you first set up My Design Album it's going to come up and it's going to ask you a couple of questions. The first thing is preferences. Now we've been the last three weeks we were going over preferences in Floriani Total Control. Let's see what the preferences are in my design album. Now when I come in, it's asking me, what program do you want to open your designs with? Well for me, it's Floriani Total Control. But if I did not have Floriani Total Control or My Total Quilter or Embellish, I can browse and tell it any embroidery program I wish I could select that program. So if you happen to have PE Design, you have Viking Software, you have Palette, any of these softwares you can associate with this program. Now you can also singularly right mouse click on a design and say open with and pick a different program than you have as your default. So that's the first thing. And the other one is thread brand chart to print. Now I've picked Floriani. If you notice, all the thread brands are in here, but I go stitch with Floriani, so that's the color I want it to come up with and tell me what I need. Now the next thing on here is input formats. Now, as hard as it is, don't select all formats. Don't select all. The reason being is if I'm looking at, let's say, I have bought a design set and they all have multiple formats on them. They have all of these. They'll have Hez, they'll have So, they have Jeff, they've got usually HUS, they usually have EXP, they usually have VIP, so you get it. They usually have one of these formats or all of these formats, excuse me. So if I just select everything, when I bring up a design set that's got, you know, seven different formats on that card, I'm going to get seven different pictures of that design. They're in the same place. I don't need to know that unless I'm trying to delete designs off my machine and I want to know where they are off my computer. I could say, I want to delete all the, um, I don't know. I use all these. It's hard to, oh, I don't have a singer. So I could select the singer design format and go ahead and bring that up so I could delete all the ones off my computer that were in singer. So you get the idea. Now I've told it all I want to look at in these pictures right now is the WAF, which is the Floriani, Walter Augustus Floriani. This is an information file, and I've got Baby Lock, and usually I have uh, Melco selected. So I'm going to pick those. Now, when we come down here, I could tell it I want to see all my SVG files. You notice I have that checked, and I have my JPEGs. So if I wanted to catalog my artwork files or any pictures, I can also organize all my photographs. So I'm going to say OK. So now I've set that up. Now the other thing you want to set up under tools, now we've looked at all the preferences, is watch folders. 
this is telling our program what folders to look in. And I highly recommend you don't just pick my whole computer because it'll show every design everywhere in your computer from the desktop to folders to anything. So I suggest you start small so you can catalog as you go along. So what I've selected is I have selected under my computer. I've gone ahead and I've come into my C drive and I've got under Floriani let's see where my designs are here here they are Floriani designs and then in here I have selected to look at my free monthly designs oh it's not selected for whatever reason I had deselected that I'm gonna tell it anytime new designs I download designs on our free monthly designs I want to see them and I could go ahead and select what other folders I want to look at. Right now, that's fine. So then I'm going to say OK, and now it's always going to look at that folder. Now, over here in the bottom left-hand corner, this says all the designs I've cataloged, and I don't want to see artwork right now, and I don't want to see the images. I'm going to take those off. So right now, every design that I have in my watch folders or I have selected is in here. But now some of these designs I put in folders. So let's go ahead and drop down where it says embroidery. You can see I've put 113 designs under Floriani Family Lace. So you could look down under Halloween I've got 10 designs and bugs I've got 6. So you can see where I have already cataloged some of the designs. I don't so much put them in folders as I tag them. That's my favorite part. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to look under pending. That means designs that I haven't put away, done anything with necessarily. Now, oh look, I've got still have two Floriani Family Lace designs here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to select, hold down my control key and select this other one. Now, how do I know that? I happen to recognize these designs. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Edit Keywords, and I'm going to go to my keyword list where I've typed in a bunch of keywords, and I happen to know those are Floriani Family Lace. So I'm going to tag them as such. So I'm going to say OK. Now, I also have a Floriani Family Lace folder. So I could take these and drag them and drop them into that folder. So now I, instead of having 113, I have 115, and they disappeared out of my pending. Now, like I said, I'm not one to just put things in folders, but maybe you are. And you can make subfolders. So right here, I've got holidays. So I could go ahead and right mouse click and say, I need to add a category under holidays, and I want to call that category Easter. And I could make one that said Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Passover, Hanukkah. I could make as many folders underneath holidays and I could bring all of my Easter designs in Easter. And then whenever I wanted to see those, I would click on Easter and everything I had drugged and dropped into that folder would be there. But let's go back up here to my pending. Now here's what I like to do. I'm going to select this butterfly, and you're going to notice I've already tagged it with keywords. Under my keywords, I put butterfly and pink. So let's come up here under keywords and type in pink. So any design that I added the word pink to comes up. Let's go back and type in Easter. Any design I had tagged with the word Easter comes up. So let's go down and let's find a design. Let's grab, let me see, I'm trying to find, here, let's grab this one. Oh, I already have monogram and frame. I've already keyworded that. Let's find something I maybe haven't. Okay. Let's keep coming down. Applique bus. So you can see, oh, here's one. Father Tools, I've already done that. 
Okay, Christmas tree. That's a Christmas design. See, I have keyworded a whole lot of these. I'm just looking for one that I haven't. Oh, here's one. Now, this says Happy New Year. Oh, so does this one. So I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to select one, hold down my control key, and select the second one. Now, I'm going to add some keywords to these. And the keyword is New Year. I'm going to say OK. Now, I could have made a New Year folder over here and drug anything into it for the New Year. But for me, it's just easier to come up here and type in new. Oh, see, I have a whole bunch that I've already keyworded. Here's, a, here's several designs I have put under New Year, including the two new ones I added. So I prefer, for me, it's easier for me to tag them with keywords. And you can put as many keywords. I could put pink bow, chick. Easter egg. I could put all of those keywords on this one. So let's go ahead and click on it. Let's edit keywords. And right now I have Easter chick deco egg. And I'm going to put pink, comma, bow. Okay. So anytime I'm looking under for anything that's under these headings, I could just type in the word bow. Now the only design I have key a keyword is this one we just did that has a bow on it. Now also if I know the name of the design. So let's type in, well these are seashells. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go for sewing. Okay, so there's one that I have that the name of the design is sewing. And I could also look at design formats. Now that goes back to where I was telling you. Let's say I wanted to check um, a format of a machine I don't have. I, I don't have a singer here, so I don't use XXX format. So I could have selected under input the XXX and typed in XXX here and any design I had in that format would come up. I would know where they were so I could delete them off my machine if I have duplicates. I might have this design in WAF, PEZ, EXP, XXX, VIP. You can have these designs in several formats. So you know as when you purchase a design CD it'll have multi formats. And sometimes we'll just drop the whole CD in and then we've got all those duplicate formats that we may not use. Oh look, here's some more Floriani Family Lace that got keyworded Family Lace, but I didn't put it in the folder. So let's look, let's go to All Designs, and I can type in Floriani Family. Now I will have every design, whether it's in a folder or whether it's in my pending, I'll have every one of those Floriani family lace designs. Pretty cool, huh? I mean, I love this program. And like I say, you could also use this to come down here and you could do under images. I could put, okay, here's photos. Now under photos, I could make the subcategory uh, mom, dad, birthdays, children, uh, you know, Hawaii trip, Australia trip, whatever, I could make categories and I could categorize all my pictures and know where they were because we could tag them or we could drop them into those specific folders. So it doesn't just do designs. But now let's look at something. I want to show you the other amazing feature of this program. Let's see this cat. This is one of the new August designs. So number one, I haven't keyworded it. So the first thing I'm going to do in here is I'm going to put cat. Or actually, this is a kitten. Oh, kitten. And I'm going to put yarn. There we go. So now I've added keywords to this. But I want to look at this. So what I'm going to do, and notice the information when I select it. There's all the Floriani colors that's used in it. 
The design is the size here. It tells me the number of stitches and the another number of color changes. And it tells me where in my computer I can find that design. Because what my design album is, is a contact list. Think of your phone. You can go look for your kids' phone numbers, addresses, everything, but they don't live in your phone. Your designs do not live in this program. They just tell you where they're located. Now I'm going to right mouse click on this cat and I want to edit this design. Now I'm going to pretend I don't have any software. I don't have FTCU. I don't have My Total Quilter. I don't have any machine format as software. So I'm going to go to Edit Design and it's going to open it up in the mini program. So this is like having a cataloger on steroids. So what can I do with this? Well, the first thing I can do is I could change a color. Let's say I don't want purple yarn. I want orange yarn. So I could come in here and change the color. I could change the color of the cat if I wanted to change the color of its fur. The other thing I can do is I can rotate this design. I can mirror image it vertically and horizontally. So we're going to take that poor cat off his head, put him back. I can also color sort. So let's say I copied and pasted and I had three cats on here. This way it would color sort. So all the sandstone, then all the golden sand, it would color sort those colors for me. Now this is pretty cool. I can actually split a design in here. I can also fit a design to hoop. These are pretty amazing features for a little engine that's within your cataloging program. So once I do that, I can say File, Save As, and now I can save it as any design file that Floriani does, and we do them all. We've got even your long arm quilters, plus your embroidery machines. So if I open a design that let's say it was in a DST format or Viking format, a VIP, and I have a baby lock brother, I could go ahead and save it as a Pez. So it will also convert a format for you. That's pretty awesome. So this is our cool little My Design album. Now we talked real basic. But I wanted to go over those basics because, again, I had questions on this this last week. So I thought I would come and do a quick overview. So I look forward to seeing you next week. I hope you enjoyed this week's overview of my design album. Have a great week.